Hi everybody, this is Amelia Duran with the Porthole to Justice and um, I am going to talk about legal abuse syndrome and um, a little bit about uh, targeting because, um, you know, there's different levels of targeting and um, I personally feel with, with my experience, three and a half years going through a CPS investigation and having people come into my life that uh, pretended to pre be friends but were actually um, uh, social workers, uh, they were, uh, or, or former like military, um, just, uh, you know, and just really just sitting around waiting and, and trying to contrive a situation. What I'm saying is they're not above creating circumstances to try and, um, uh, you know, as, as a way to a means to an end for whatever goal they're trying to achieve, um, that, you know, the, that it's, you know, it's with such sophistication and expertise and knowledge. It's, it's a, it's a mentality, um, a, of, of individuals that are colluding and they're, manipulating uh, situations um, so that they can get your children, so they can get you to have a nervous breakdown, or they can say that you're an alcoholic, or they can, um, they can uh, say you're a drug addict, or, you know, or, or whatever, or that you have um, anger, they can get you to break and say, oh, look, you have anger management issues. Um, I, I have just gone through so much of this throughout my life and, you know, and I'm an observe, observing type of person. I'm not really, I'm not really an, um, like outgoing person per se. I struggle with being an introvert, extrovert and, um, it just that it, it this 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 whole thing is very real, and the the bars are like the the people that are are in the bar that are registered with the bar. When you become a bar licensed attorney, you turn over your citizenship to the bar, and you become what is coined as a part of the foreign faction that that resides in our in our state, and they are they are protected. The system is designed to protect these individuals who deliberately betray our trust on purpose. And they destroy lives. They destroy families. Um, they take children. They, they traffic human beings. A lot of this, this whole, this whole setup, if you're an innocent person and your, in your case was fraudulently contrived and you can prove it this whole setup is designed to make you break take you know uh traffic traffic you uh put you uh take your home take your property uh the rights over your children um the and this isn't like you can go online what i'm saying is not like something made up and i've um, there are absolute facts and per proof that courts and lawyers do not apply the law equally to the to poor minorities. Um, there's countless of cases, countless of cases, and there's even a recent case online that was just featured on the Zeph report um, of a woman where 300 police officers uh, arrested. No, there was well. 300 people, individuals were arrested for gang stalking one unemployed woman. One woman. There were, there were helicopters involved. Some of these people took acting classes to, uh, you know, contrive these situations. Um, the, you know, these are paid informants, stalkers. And, you know, I've, I've had, you know, throughout my, my life and throughout my case with, with CPS, 
I realized these are social workers. A lot of these people come from the social workers union. Uh, they have a website. You can go online. Um, these are people that if you're not conforming uh, to society or you're not following, if you're poor and you're not going along with the human trafficking and the pedophile uh, culture that's being imposed on us, you may be targeted. You may be a victim. You may end up in, in court. And in court, a lot of us in the Porthole to Justice, we have, we have been through this. We have been pizza gated. We have been traumatized. We have been put through these satanic, um, scandals that, that are just, there is no, there's no other words. There's no other way to put it. It's, it's completely diabolical. Um, You know, so many times we see guilty people in criminal court. They have more rights than people, say, in children's court. You know, you can be absolutely innocent. We see people that are pedophiles, that get freed. They get no sentences that are pardoned. Human traffickers. Three cases just this week in the Port Holt Justice alone. Um, look it up. These, there was a, a, one gentleman, his case was dismissed and he was, he was, uh, absolutely human trafficking. Absolutely human trafficking. Um, the innocent are punished with no due process, no fairness or unfairness of the legal system. Uh, it's a, you know, absolutely this is a predatorial system designed to defraud, um, corrupt, and abuse certain targeted individuals. If you're innocent or not, if you have the evidence that you're innocent, it doesn't matter. They routinely break the Brady Disclosure Law. They, they withhold evidence in the courts. These public defenders work for the states. They're paid by the states. They work for the same. They're in the same union as everybody that's sitting in that courtroom. So you're going in there and you're going in there. You're going up against county council. The pub, you're, you're going up against your own public defender. You're going up against, uh, if you have a child, you're going up against the child's attorney. And you're going up against the courts. That are all colluding, colluding against you. So it is so important that you inform yourselves and you educate yourself on your rights. Because they are not going to give you your rights. You're going to have to demand them. Demand them in court. And you're going to have to inform yourself and educate yourself. That is the only way. That's the only way. Even if you hire a $5,000 attorney or a $25,000 attorney, these attorneys will never work in that courtroom again if they absolutely defend you and they go against the judge. So the, there's different levels to these gang stalking programs, and they're absolutely real. Um, some of them, you know, they, so, some of them have community... Um, Community informants, okay? And they work to, these people, well, let's say they go and they do reconnaissance and they break into your house. Let's say a judge is interested or somebody's interested in what you have and you, you have a home invasion, okay? Um, they're just going in to check out and see what you have and then, um, you know, they'll just keep targeting you and targeting you and you'll keep calling the police and the police won't do anything. There's no recourse. And then eventually they start saying, oh, that person is crazy. And, and the neighbors start talking and and oh, and then pretty soon, you know, you're what do you what do you know? You're getting evicted out of your home. Um, your home's in pro probate. Everything's in probate. You're being arrested and thrown in and out of jail. Um, this these. These things are happening. These crimes are real. They're really happening. Um, and absolutely, they're, they're contrived and coordinated. Um, in my, my specific situation, I can prove that. Um, and 
I have vetted tons of cases with the same scenarios repeated over and over again. And and so many of these so many of these people, they pose as your friends. They pose as advocates on online and they collect case data. Um, if they and they work with government agencies, these people legitimately work with government agencies, and you can look them up, and you can you can uh, you can find out. In fact, you can contact the uh, the social workers headquarters, and they have to give you an employee number. If these people are actually social workers, they have to let you know. Problem is, a lot of times they don't use their real names, so. Um, but you know, there's there's enough substantiated cases in the porthole to justice where I can openly talk about this and, and not sound like you know I I'm and and even um you know if you are going through this process there's there is I mean if you're going there is a there's websites for legal abuse syndrome and um, organizations that help with. You know, it, they're public service entities. You know, you even want to vet those, though. But, um, you know, some of them are there as advocates for uh, citizens whose rights have been violated and abused. And if you, you can prove some of this stuff, you know, um, that's go to some, you know, reach out, but be cautious, you know, make sure that you, you do your research and your due diligence and you investigate some of these online, um, uh, legal abuse syndrome, because like I said, there's different levels to the targeting, um, going through the courts is one of them. Tra- uh, trafficking your children is one of them. A lot of these uh, programs are targeted to break you down, make you become homeless, and so that you become a human trafficking victim yourself. So um, awareness is empowering, and I just wanted to um, come on, uh, on and you know uh, talk about this a little bit. You know, we have so much resources and and wonderful advocates that have been through this that are trying to create awareness and help others going through this uh, in the porthole to justice. Um, And there's so much content and material for you there to um, inform yourselves and educate yourselves on this issue and so many of us are struggling with PTSD and the trauma of having to go through all of what we've gone through in the courts Um, it's just what's happening it's starting I've noticed that it's becoming um, it's becoming more commonplace it's not such a um, you know in the past it was a taboo topic. If you discuss something like this, you were, um, you know, called crazy and it was used against you even further. So, excuse me, I have to take a drink. But now there's enough evidence and there's enough um, information available to where... Um, you know, we can we can openly discuss this as is a is a huge problem, um, and a disservice to com- you know people in the communities and families. Families are suffering. Um, children are are the the biggest victims of all. So, um, legal uh, citizens are citizens against legal abuse. You know, if you're going through this and you you have some some credible, if you have credible um, content and you know enough that you would think it would warrant an investigation, um, there is some websites online. The definition of legal abuse syndrome. This is. Let me read this. Well, abuse. Everything that's contrary to good order established by usage, departure from reasonable use, immoderate or improper, 
to wrong in speech, report, reproach coarsely, disparage, vile, and malign. Um, Died. Again. Abuse of authority. There's abuse of authority, abuse of executive authority, abuse of the legal process, um, a, con- a conclusion as to the use of the thing from its abuse is invalid. There may be an abuse. There may be an abuse of everything of which there is use. Virtue alone accepted. So, this is just a random uh, dictionary <laughs> dictionary definition I was reading. But there's some uh, websites available online that you know can inform you a lot more about this issue. Um, a lot of people are absolutely devastated. You know, they come out with nothing. Um, they're homeless and you have PTSD. It's very hard to trust others. And you start to begin to feel like, you know, the whole world is colluding because yes, you're being targeted. Um, so this is, uh, these are just some resources that are available, uh, There's also there's also something called okay you're you, a lot of times we get these uh, exes that um, whether you're male or female you have an ex that's harassing you and and once you are out of the situation they continue to harass you um, they continue to harass you through the courts. And taking, you know, everything that you've ever made in your life. Uh, These are court-related abuse. And this is something called DV by proxy. Um, And this, you know, abusing through the courts. Uh, And I encourage you to look up the definition of DV by proxy because it's domestic violence through the courts, continued abuse through the courts, legal abuse, um, this can, you know, if you, if you are married, if you were married to a narcissist type or a psychopath, um, then you, you know, these are, these are things that you want to research and look up because these are tools that you can use, uh, in the courts to where they have to follow a certain, uh, guidelines, um, in regards to your case because of that situation. Um, and I encourage you to look that up as well. I'm going to be posting. I think I did post the story about the woman where there was 300 individuals arrested for stalking one woman. One woman. And this is this is awful. It's terrible. It's it's a humanitarian crisis at this point. Um, there's there's tons of um, Facebook groups for targeted individuals. Um, and I think what's what we're going to start seeing is because people are able to come together and talk more openly about this issue and share experiences and evidence, it's becoming a lot a lot easier to define and um, make this a legitimate issue. So that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about today. And um, I hope everybody joins us for 20 on 20. And that's when uh, I say prayer, powerful prayer for everybody in the portholes, porthole to justice. Um, and it's also a human trafficking campaign that um, I, I've been promoting that is um, – you can go to 20 on 20.com and there's lots of ways to see how you can get involved and participate. And, um, there, and, uh, you can also join us for 20 on 20 on the Zeph report. All right, everybody. This is Amelia Duran, your host in the porthole to justice. And I hope everybody has a blessed Sunday and, uh, That's about it. Okay, guys, signing off. And uh, this has been another off-the-cuff episode of Porthole to Justice.